Good morning, happy Sunday. As we are gonna continue today in our study on prayer, I just hope that it helps you to come into a deeper understanding of how cool it is that we get to communicate with God. And that daily uh, prayer would continue to be something that, man, it's not just in the morning, it's not just before dinner, but it's all the time, all the time for you to seek the Lord and to pour out your heart to Him. So pray this video blesses you, and we'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, it's Polly. You know, Jesus wanted us to know how we should pray. In Matthew 6, 9, it says, In this manner, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Yeah, well, God's name is holy, or hallowed, but I like to say holy. And he's also our Father. And you know what? God wants us to know that. He's our Daddy. Isn't that cool? You know, I look at it this way. When I go to Papa Platypus, I'll go snuggle up to him when I want to go talk to him. It's really fun. And that's like when we go praying to God. Kind of like this. Hi, Papa. I love you. I like talking to you. Oh, I like talking to you too, Polly. But uh, uh, you are kind of heavy. You might want to not eat so many of Grandma's cookies. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, in Matthew 6.10, it also says, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. When we pray, we should be praying for Jesus' heavenly kingdom here and his will to be done over, you know, what we may want. His will comes first. So, I was pondering, has anyone else found out about God's will through prayer, huh? Let's check it out. After I prayed and prayed for a long time, I was able to get my pet kitty pig burgers. It was God's will for me to take care of him. When God gives us pets, we should take care of what God has blessed us with. Yes, Chaco, and it's also God's will for me not to put burgers in a tree. for deep thoughts with blub blub oh yes in matthew 6 verse 9 through 10 it gives us a model of how we are to pray to god you know we don't need to pray that prayer word for word but jesus gives us this prayer to us to keep our minds and our hearts on what he thinks is best for us we need to remember that his kingdom will be here in the future and he is our father. You remember all that? Oh, you're going to be blessed. Guaranteed. Knowing God is my father helps me to know he loves me. And he knows what's best for me. That, that, it demolishes all my fears. Wow, that's a renovation project gone wrong. <laughs> Oops, excuse me, Jesus loves you. So as it says in Matthew chapter 6, one thing I want, well, a couple things I wanted to point out is, it says this in chapter 6, verse 9 of Matthew, In this manner, therefore, prayer, pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Always remember, like we went over in our in our puppet video, God is your Father. And we are brought in through Jesus Christ, and we are made His children. He's your Father, our Father in Heaven. 
hallowed be your name. It's also good to remember that God is holy. He is set apart. That's what holy means. And, you know, like I think it was Blub Blub who talked about it. You don't have to pray this prayer word for word, but this is an example that you go to the Lord and it's like, you're my father. You're holy. Ah, oh, I just want your will done and on earth as it is in heaven. And it says this as well. Um, your kingdom come in verse 10 and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I love that it talks about the kingdom of God. We want to see the Lord glorified on this earth. Uh, you know, we know things may not be always going great in our world, but we want to see him glorified. In Matthew 6, it says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We want to seek his kingdom. I saw this little prayer uh, snippet and it said, went like this. Lord, let me see no other kingdom but yours. God's kingdom means what God rules over. Okay, we want God to rule over our lives. Lord, start your kingdom right here in my heart, in my life. And let's read that again in verse 10. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We want God's will above everything else. You may pray for things and go, I wanted that. Why didn't I get that now? Wah! Wah! You know, we might be a little upset because we're not getting what we want right now. <laughs> but you know what? God's will is better than what we think is best. And what I mean by that is the Lord's timing is perfect. So we want his will in everything. And, you know, it's never about changing God's mind. It's about, uh, about aligning our will with what he wills. So, as we look at that, I want to encourage you as you pray uh, to look at this prayer as a model for us and how to pray, how to go to the Lord. Also, I want to say this, take time as you're praying to pray for others, to pray for your family, to pray for those who are serving the Lord. That's important, but never neglect praying for those areas of your life where you need help whether you know you've got something you're struggling with or you have things in your mind you're like i don't know what to do with this always give it to god the whole point of this study is for us to understand we can go to god in prayer and he wants us to why same thing every time because he loves us well, let's pray together lord we just give you this time and we pray that you would instruct us during the week and remind us by your Holy Spirit to seek you, to pray, to come before you and give all, all of our heart, all of our mind, all of our actions just up to you, Lord, so we can better serve you. And Jesus, thank you for loving us first. In your name we pray these things, Jesus. Amen. God bless you all.